Okay, let us come to the third problem. The approximate value of cos 61 degrees is first option 0 0.4848, second option 0 0.4849, third option 0 0.4948, fourth option 0 0.5059. So, how to solve this problem? Let us analyze it this problem. So, we know the value of cos 60 degrees, there is no doubt at all that is 1 by 2, but here we are asked to find out cos 61 degrees without using any calculator or without using the tables. So, that means we have already discussed in the introduction part of this chapter that is very very important. First of all, every I request you or to the all the viewers or my dear students please go through the introduction part of this chapter first clearly. So, after that you start the problem solving. So, easily you can solve any problem in, a, in the examination understood now. So, that is why the cos 61 degrees comes under cos of x plus delta x. Cos of x plus delta x is approximately equal to cos x minus sin x whose derivative of cos x is minus sin x into delta x. Delta x means here 1 degree, but while calculating we should not consider the degrees. Degrees we have to change into radians. So, 1 degree better you remember in your mind 0 0.01745. Let me repeat once again 1 degree equals to 0.01745 radians. Okay. Can we solve it now? Okay. Let us solve. Here int. Our aim is to find out cos 61 degrees. Let us make a plan. This can be written cos 60 degrees plus 1 degree. 60 degrees is known angle. So, this appears to be a shortcut formula cos of x plus delta x this is approximately equal to cos x cos x derivative minus sin x multiplied by delta x, but here delta x is 1 degree. So, 1 degree means you take the clue also 1 degree is equal to 0 0.01745. Or sometimes 0 0.018 also you can take it, but generally 1 degree equals to 0 0.01745 radians. Let us come to the problem now. So, therefore, cos 61 degrees approximately equal to x, x stands for 6 60, cos 60 minus sin 60 delta x is 1 degree that means 0 0.01745. The carefully we have to simplify. Cos 60 is 1 by 2, sin 60 is root 3 by 2 into 0 0.01745. So, 1 by 2 is 0 0.5, root 3 is 1.732 by 2 into 0 0.01745. You are not at all allowed to use the calculators. Be careful while solving the calculations. This part is very, very important. 2 1 8 16 6 6. So, you have to multiply these two. So, let us multiply 800 here 17.45 multiply 866 30 27 42 44 here 10 again 0 7 4 0 1 8 5 ja 40 36 59 13 0 7 11 11 11 5 1 5. 
here how many decimal points here 1 2 3 4 5 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so that means you can write now 0 0.5 minus 0 point 0 0.015117. So, if you subtract it approximately you get 0 0.48 and 48. So, this will be the first option. This is the fourth problem. A circular plate expands when heated from a radius 5 centimeters to 5.06 centimeters, then the percentage increase in its area. First option 0 0.6, second option 1.2, third option 2.4, fourth option 0 0.12. So, first let us analyze the problem. The initial radius is 5 centimeters and final radius is 5.06 centimeters. Suppose, r is equal to 5 centimeters, r dash is equal to 5.06 centimeters. What is the increase? That is 0 0.06 centimeters. That will be the error in the radius. Say, you can say delta r. Now, what we have to find out? So, we have to find out percentage increase in the area. That means, delta a by a into 100 we have to calculate. So, this problem is actually related to the circular plate means circle. So, that means let us draw a figure rough diagram this is a circle whose initial radius is 5 centimeters. So, due to heating it is increased like this. Now, radius becomes 5.06 centimeters. So, percentage error increase in its area we have to find out. So, what is given here Let's write down like this r is equal to 5 centimeters, r dash is equal to 5.06 centimeters, delta r final minus initial 5.06 minus 5 0.06 centimeters. So, in this way we can calculate the error in the radius or increase in the radius. So, we know area of the circle is given by a is equal to pi r square. Let me explain the traditional method. In general traditional method in order to find out the percentage error. So, you have to apply the logarithm on both sides and you have to differentiate and you have to substitute the values and it takes very 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 lengthy method, but I will give you one clue. So, directly whenever a is equal to pi r square means here pi is constant or raised to how much power that is 2 that is dimension of r, dimension of r is 2. So, that means the percentage error in area directly we can write delta a by a into 100 is equal to 2 times delta r by r into 100 that is all. The problem will be solved. Here 2 times delta r is equal to 0 0.06 by r value is 5 into 100. 0 0.06 into 100 is 6 only that is 12 by 5. So, that means 5 1 ja, 5 2 ja 10, 2.4. So, that means 2.4 percent, which is the right option, which you can check it now. So, yes, it is quite obvious, third one is the right answer. So, in this way, we have to apply the shortcuts in the examination.